but she don't, but she does. We talking about her. But she, she still finds it valuable. But when she comes to me, she understands that has no value with me. Nah, I don't believe that. Because she's still no. getting money for no, it. Oh, no, no. You, it's hard to tell. She can't exchange her pussy for anything from me, though. And she don't Not from you. <laughs> exactly. But, but right. that don't take the value off. Right. Just because you don't buy the you listen, me. Just because you I don't buy the Billy don't mean the Billy ain't going to be sold. The Billy got value even if you don't see the value. Listen. So just because you say the pussy, the pussy is a money voucher. This episode is brought to you by Prize Picks, the most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. It's just you against the numbers. You pick more or less on two to six player stats projections, like you'll pick Patrick Mahomes for up to two passing touchdowns or Saquon Barkley for more than 60 yards, and you watch the winnings roll in. I've been using Prize Picks, and it's just so simple. I can make my picks and submit an entry in less than 60 seconds. That's just one minute, and the withdrawals, it makes the experience even better. After you win, you definitely don't want to wait. And don't miss out on Taco Tuesdays. That's where selected player projections are discounted up to 25%. Go to prizepicks.com, use my code IUTP to receive a guaranteed $50 when you play just $5. Again, that's prizepicks.com, my code IUTP. If you support the show, sign up for prize picks, use my code, and watch the winnings roll in. This is Daily Fantasy Sports Made Easy. Salute to Prize Picks for supporting the movement, and let's get back to the episode. And how was your relationship Don with Don Juan? Don Juan is the greatest that ever played the game. He told is me. It? He told me the game when we were talking about the entertainment side of pimping. That was the first I seen on Phil Donahue. The first I seen on Oprah Winfrey. He was on Phil Donahue. Yeah, and Oprah Winfrey. Just talking about what? Just talking about the pimping. <laughs> oh so, yeah, that's hard. Hey, so 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 that's, <laughs> hey, that's that's my example. So as I was going, I didn't feel no shame because the. Like my homies be like, you know, I, I did a players ball in Milwaukee. When we did the players ball, Don Juan, Don Juan came to the ball in Milwaukee, right? All my OGs that was getting on my knuckles about the pimping and say, oh, DVA, man, that ain't, man, that ain't what it is. That was like excited to see Bishop Don Juan. And they said, oh, you know Don Juan? Yeah, Don Juan, you know, they kicking all the pimps and shit from Chicago and all over the country. And they said, oh, this is solid. That's when they seen I was a real n- and you understand me? I'm, Don I'm Juan all, took that shit far too now. Yeah, Don, Don Juan is the king, yeah, man. Have Don you ever Juan seen Mo? Yeah, what? Don, Don, Don Juan and Reverend Simo is the king of this shit. Who? Reverend Simo, that's his right hand man. They got oh, all the okay. Rolls Royce. He got 30 Rolls Royces and yachts and shit. He out of Chicago. Uh, at the game or him. what? Yeah, you need to interview him. Mr. Rick. You know Mr. Rick? Nah. They got this uh, joint called the original OGs. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah they, know, look, I got uh, their number. You know, yeah. Boss Talk. Uh, that dude, Boss Talk, he interviewed uh, Reverend Simo. You can just type in Boss Talk and you can see the interview on uh, on him. You know what I'm saying? You know, my Valentino, all the man, you know, Memphis, you know what I'm saying? They condone that shit. My name is Divine, JD, you know what I'm saying? Me, and man, you know, I mean, man, you know, the Pippin, man, is like, it's like, it's, 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 it's Hollywood and it's still solid. But let me tell you a secret that you don't know. What's that? The coldest pimps in the world. And I ain't talking about me or Don Juan. You would never see him. That is playing Facts. golf. They living in uh, penthouses. That's what I'm saying. How did look at y'all? That don't even think about that. Think y'all no, goofies, no, no, they don't think about them. They respect the game? No, a real dog, the real pimp that you niggas don't know nothing about, they don't even think about this shit. They don't even watch you. These niggas is making so much money. Millions and millions. I don't, I you don't, don't think the rap shit done crossed their path, though? Don Juan playing pimping movies and... No, that's what they supposed to do, man. Elevation, man. Yeah, you know what respect saying? elevation yeah, at, all, yeah, yeah. at all times. Like, like, yeah. nigga, look at you. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You, you do a podcast. What happened yeah. to the being on the block? What happened to selling right. the dope? Nah, nah, yeah, nah. I respect no, elevation. No, yeah, Listen, I, I, I respect elevation. No, yeah, I just think that... this shit like we respect your transition. <laughs> Yeah, nah, and I do, I do respect. respect. Yeah, it's that elevation. Niggas, niggas in the game don't like it on the lowest level. That's they say. Look, I know he get it too. Oh, the game is to be sold, not told. It's too much game for some squares. But only on the lowest level of the game is saying that shit because his game ain't heavy. 
who got really heavy game that you don't know, even know their name. Man, the shit we talking is so elementary. It's only big game it's on the lowest level of the game. So it's who really on that next level. We ain't giving up no real game. You know, it's only to the people on the bottom. Like what what game you think is on? Is, 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 I think game is universal though. Yeah, game is wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Yeah. That's what but, I'm saying. But, see, but real game ain't transparent. That's yeah, the first that's thing fact. you got to learn. That's in my book, the uh, what audio. What do you mean show. when you say that? Okay, if you can see yeah. it, ain't, uh, okay. This right, hold on, pal. This right here f up, so try to keep it off of that, because it'll, it'll He still got that, uh, he got that other piece on. Yeah, but it ain't gonna, that's the super clear b right there. Okay. So that's think, the, of, think about what I say with real game ain't transparent. Just think about it. If I got real game, and I try to bust a move on you, a scam, right? And you say, hold on, man, you running game. That ain't game. You peeped it. Yeah, you know but, I mean? but real game, you know what nah, I'm mean? I disagree with that. No, nah, but oh, oh, let me because finish. Let me finish. Keeping it don't gotta be in real time. I can peep game after you done you done got the you done got me with the move. No, but I got something but from you. You talking about you want you want the elevation, I'm giving you the yeah, next level. So yeah. the next level is say real game is like uh we got weapons of mass destruction. You know what I'm saying? Me, United States need to go kill Saddam Hussein. They condone the whole American public get behind it. They go over there, right? The real mission was to get the oil. They get the oil, right? You know what I'm saying? Me, for, they stay over there 20 years and, and, and replenish our whole oil supply. And then two years later, they said it was a lie. It wasn't really no weapons of mass destruction. You know what I'm saying? Me, you know, uh, you know uh, uh, we lied to the, to the American people. Real game went transparent. You, the, the, if if you telling me that now you said you said they peeped it afterwards, I see what you said. But if you peep it afterwards, that's cool. But I'm saying real you game. Just, you you won't just see told it. me real game ain't transparent. Then use an example of you peeping the game that America no, was running. After after but that's my example. After, my example is saying that yo, game don't got to be peeped in real time. Right? You might get me. You might run your move, get, get it over. So you're saying the same thing I'm saying. But that's what I was saying. Real game ain't transparent. You might catch it afterwards. We saying the same thing. We, so we so just, you don't just, think transparent mean I think transparent, transparent mean, I think when obvious. you say a, uh, I think when you say real game ain't transparent, that mean it ain't I'm obvious. game, you won't catch it. No, what I'm saying, it ain't obvious. You probably catch it afterwards. So so yeah, what okay, I'm saying. That makes so, sense. Yeah, I said mean you saying the same thing. So yeah, like, yeah. like if I get a Right, she get in my car, right? You know what I'm saying? I'm not finna say, hey, I'm a pimp. I'm gonna take, I'm a wine and dine, I'm a feeder, and you know, we're gonna talk shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna I'm say, look here, mommy, I'm gonna introduce you, son. I'm gonna take her to meet my other hoes and say, yeah, these are my models. You know what I'm saying? You know, they get money. What do they do? You know what I'm saying? You wanna try, you wanna try, you wanna fuck with us, you wanna see what we do? You know what I'm saying? Me, and then I'm gonna sit her down, get some high heels and some mini skirts, and say, this, hey, you about to go to work, baby. You know what I'm saying? What you gotta do? This is how you gotta do this, this is how you gotta do that, blah, 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 blah. Now, the catching coming for the hanging. Yes, Lord. The bitch never knew that it was pimping. But once the bitch got the element, it was pimping. So, you know what i If it would have been transparent, if I said, hey, I'm a pimp, she said, no, I don't mess with pimps. Right. That's what I mean. Okay. Listen, I say it like this, right? Real game is game with instructions. You can give somebody, we get on these podcasts, we, we talk our shit, we giving you game. But if you ain't got instructions to go with that game, it ain't going to work. You but you, you need instructions for... So, putting together an end table and a bedroom suit is two different pair of instructions. That's what I'm saying. Listen, so I'm saying, I can so all the pieces. All sometimes the I'm talking to the putting together a bedroom suit, and so the that's working on the end table won't get it. You see what I mean? But instructions can't be universal like that, in my opinion. I think you got to have your own level of game to even keep up with what I'm saying. I can't speak to the that's under a certain level of game, you need to go find somebody else to listen to. You know what I'm saying? Just listen to this, they kind of got it going, they need a little direction, they just need a hole, you know what I mean? But he, I, think, I, think, I think too, like, you know, when I when I pimp on the bitch, they can say, what's the key to pimping? I say instructions. So I might tell them, hey, go, hey, go give me some, uh, some water. Hey, uh, go clean the bathroom up. You know what I'm saying? Because you want to always keep her under your instructions. The bigger the instructions, the better the production. So that's what he mean. Is no, that what he I don't said? know if that's what he mean. That's how I look at the pimping. When I think he said the game is instructions, I, I agree with so him on that, that perspective. perspective. My brother. What I'm saying is this. When I say, you know, the game is to be sold, not told, and the game that people think we're giving out ain't the whole game. I'm giving you no, thousands. That's a fact. I'm giving you thousands of crumbs of game, but it takes hundreds of thousands of crumbs just to make up one slice of cake of this game. You're missing a whole lot, but 
they game deficient, they getting fooled with this little information, not understanding, man, you're going to get your head cracked going outside because you're not getting the whole thing. That's it just right. sound good. And a lot of these dudes, they don't understand. That's why I say, come get in my course, come get his book. Get the real game because you're going to hurt yourself just getting these little pieces. And you see it all the time. Dudes go out there Try and they, to execute. You go, you your relationship up you're gonna do because you're not getting it all but yeah. what i'm saying is you get the game that's the information but you got to have instructions on how to put that shit together i could give you all the pieces to a house but it's worthless to if they don't know how to put it exactly. together that's what i'm saying right right, right right let me give you another example like in my movie pimpology right i i talk about this that i got for the this is a 400 hundred dollar a day so i had to get the to my quota which is 1200 so what i told it is to say look here uh if you go out there and you work and you get twelve hundred, I mean you're gonna spend the whole night together. You understand what I'm saying, me? And it's gonna say, okay, yeah. Uh, no, nah, I said if you get four hundred and and, and and four hours, then I mean you're gonna spend the whole night together. So if I get to four hundred in an hour. I said, bitch, you understand me? You miss you you miss you miss home. You know what I'm saying you faking, you front. Now go out there and get another eight hundred dollars and get my quota up. You know what I'm saying, me? So now I had to pimp behind another. That gave the bitch instruction. He was comfortable just getting it, paying his hotel bill and get some weed. No, I got Gators to buy in the morning. They cost a thousand. You understand me? So I need you to get a thousand dollars, twelve hundred dollars a day. So you understand me? Sometimes you know it just depend on depend on what they're saying and how pimp. You know what I'm saying? Like Goldie was saying. You know what I'm saying? If, if Goldie, if I not Goldie for a bite, right, and Goldie was holding hands and kicking cans and cupcaking, when she come to me, she gonna look at me. Like she look at Goldie. So what I got to do, I got to reprogram. I got to take out of Goldie's instructions and program. And I said, no, nah, mommy, that ain't what we do here. Ain't no touchy, touchy, feely, feely. You know, Goldie liked the way the pussy feel. Pepper Ken liked the way the pussy pay the bill. You know what I mean? It's real horn and pimping over here. So that's how I'm going to come at her, right? You know what I'm saying? So I got to clean up his mess. You know what I'm saying? But he gave her instructions. Hey, baby, it's okay. You know what I'm saying? To make a certain amount. So, you know what I mean? Like you said, you're right. You know, when you talk about the uh, the furniture thing, that's the absolutely way it go. You know what I mean? I mean, for different strokes, different folks, some like Pepsi, some like Coke, some can, some can't. Yeah, no, nah, that's, that's a fact. And, uh, yeah, like he say, too, man, every player can govern his household and his game be a little bit different. You know, everybody be trying to have the same game. That's why these dudes is losing because they get their game from the music. Man, that's his game, how he wanted to put it down. You could put it down how you wanted to put it down. Man, the king is a pimp. How I saw it was supposed to be the king. And he live in his sphere and his bu bubble, and he run his kingdom how he want to. But all these dudes want to be the next man, man. That's the opposite of the pimp. You know what I'm saying? But as far as what he was talking about reprogramming, he was talking about reprogramming abroad. I'm out here trying to reprogram these men to understand their value. You know, what I saw and was attracted to from the game was not, you know, so-called the pimping and the activities. It was how the man carried himself. Them was some of the realest men I ever saw. They wasn't lying to a woman like I may see uh, another man that I respect lying to his wife and cheating. These dudes was unapologetically men doing what they wanted, how they wanted, being unapologetic about it. And that's what I want to get to these dudes. Reprogram your mind. Take that pussy off that pedestal you put it on and bring it down to your level. And the situation and the interaction will be different. You know, so I try to bring the the, the lessons of the game and bring it to the mat. Do y'all think that, um, do y'all think the game is watered down? Now, here's a better question. Especially for you, Ken, and you can weigh in on this. The OnlyFans model, business model, right? You missed the internet thing. You missed when Pippin went to the web. That's I think not, that's not true. Remember, we was going to talk about that? Yeah, let's talk you about You got to remember that. Remember, I said PippinKid.net sell a bitch pussy drop wet? That was what? 20 years ago. It's when even, it, Instagram or Facebook wasn't even created. I was the first to know with this shit right. and guess what I did when they said www.pippinkid.net what was I doing I Brand. was marketing yeah. my fucking website it was, the pimp, it was the pimp class I was the first that had a master class on pimping you see what I'm saying me? that's so, back then yeah that was back then these was in high school you know what I'm saying you know, if it, that's, we're talking about 25 years ago if he 34 he was 10 years old you can't possibly tell me you was pimping at 10. you know what I'm saying? you can't possibly tell me you was at the game at 10. so you know what i'm saying i was the first to come out the gate so when pimp c said pimping ain't dead it just moved to the web he was talking about me because i got on his album i said www.pimpkid.net so what you was doing you were selling the course then though right well you know you remember yeah. you, you remember uh pimp video with yeah. 50 cent 50. what i say hey man pimpy ken said don't down on crown right what if I would say Coca-Cola said don't down the crown? What if I would say Burger King? I was marketing myself. I was giving 
top game, I was like Goldie be doing. We were flying over, like Goldie fly over there now. I was flying over there back then. And uh, Jermaine Dupri, remember that was in 2000. I said www.pippakin.com. I got you off the pippakin.com because it didn't rhyme. I like the pippakin.net because it rhymed. You sell a bitch puts to a drip job wet. And that's, you know, go ahead, go ahead. You talking about what we feel about women doing it by themselves on OnlyFans? Man, I ain't mad at it. You know why? Because I was really around the game for real. And if we being real, what I saw was a bunch of men tricking these most of these women into with them. And they the broad money, going buying a lean, going buying a weed, going off at the casino. I done seen dudes who had a broad working in, in Las Vegas, ain't had a room to stay the next night and took her trap and blew it all on the table. So I'm glad that women can get another option than having to be they behind it. Because most of these can't even really take care of themselves, been in the game 10 plus years and really ain't got shit to show for it. So to give a woman another avenue to get her own money, I ain't mad at it. But guess what? You know, the dudes out there who know how to govern their household, it's always going to be women who going to respect that. But it give the women another way out there. They ain't got to be under these bum ass. Yeah, because they be bullshitting. Like sometimes you'll look, that, I think that's the thing you got to look for. What you get out of the game, not what you gave the game, mm -hmm. what you get out of the game. You know what I mean? Because some people will get a game, everything, and leave with nothing. And for me, that's disrespectful to your time and everything. That's the, mo that's the majority, though. Can't we say that's that? What the I'm majority going to leave that's with nothing. That's what I'm saying. Hey, but I sent six kids to college. My daughter got a master's degree off the game. You know so you had saying? six kids? Oh, uh, yeah. I sent, all, I, I sent six kids. I got nine kids. I sent six kids. But I'm 60. I'm doing pretty good. So. Was you was you in the game having kids though? Was you girlfriend pimping? No, it ain't girlfriend pimping, man. I always tell niggas, man, uh, who else I'm gonna fuck? I ain't gonna fuck you. I ain't homosexual. <laughs> so you said me when you got you fuck you, you upset, you know that's I, 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 I don't know where that shit sport. came from. Huh? huh? I was gonna say I don't know where that shit came from. That shit sound goofy as hell. Yeah. If, you, if you in the game, who you supposed to have sex with? You just not having sex, you celebrate. And that's now? why sometimes it be it be contradicting. Because we, you know, they ain't getting the real game. The game. Right. They, they ain't getting the real Utilizing half of what was well, happening. If you're a square, if you're a square, you gonna never understand this yeah. shit, uh, Lou. Squares would never understand. Like, but like, I ain't no square, and I don't understand. It. Okay, well, but, but you know, you know, you know, know, you know, know a lot of streets. Yeah, a lot of streets. When we say we square, talk, they think we talking about square. We talking about we, pimping. We, talk, talk, we talking about a square. We just talking about somebody not in this lifestyle. We not talking about a square. But you can't call me a square to my face because I'm from the street. I get what you say. And then. That, right, but right. I be like, no, yeah. I ain't saying square. I but just share yeah, square. All I'm just saying is, you, 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 you ain't got a hoe. That's all I But mean. this is the thing. That game in this game, share square, though. Yeah. Square ain't exclusive to y'all. Yeah, so yeah, you yeah, can't yeah, run yeah. off with it. Well, well, you well, can't well, run off with square. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me say this, though. Let me say this, though. If you want to get into the pimping, I welcome you in. I welcome you in. But I guarantee you, if you pull up in the game and you don't have a game, you can pull up in the belly. I guarantee you're going to leave with a Thing, holding your pants up in a bucket, you understand me? Because them, the book on what a gonna do ain't been written yet. Think that the pimping is the most notorious. The whole dog, the talk to a thousand a day, the get sweated yeah, by all the pimps yeah. in the country. You understand me? They laced up. You, you, got, your, laced you got your up. little bitty ass game, and this bitch is getting game from Goldie. She getting game from Lou, and you understand me? So that's why we say a square is that when you come into this game, you could be a D boy. You could be a G boy, you could be all that other shit, you could be doing everything, but when you get with this hoe, it changes, man. Yeah. The bitch is holding the campaign, man. That's what I'm talking about. It ain't no uh, holding hands and kicking can. Yeah. The bitch is gonna challenge you, man. Hey, man, the Bible said it right. He, he, he said that. He, he, he said, Adam, where are thou? He said, Adam was naked. He said, The woman that you gave me deceived me. A job, square, or red. You understand know me? It's to debase a man. A man have to be strong. A man have to be the head of the household. The reason what make the lion so cold is his roar. See, the lion roar, it scared the shit out of giraffes and ele elephants. But, the, the, but, but, but also, motherfuckers don't know about the, the, the lion. It's his mentality. When he see an elephant, he see a meal. He going at that big old even though he's ten times stronger than him. You know what I'm saying? So that's what motherfucker got to understand is that when but you do it a whole... Huh? The uh, only fans wave is a is, if if you if supposed to be able to take advantage of that. I see little white boys taking advantage. They really pimping. Right. They got
they they pimping. And the whole shit. Yeah. Let, 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 let's put it out there like this, though, because I say this shit all the time. Man, we ain't finna sit up here and act like these hoes is all getting bread off that shit. It's the top few percent yep. making millions, and the rest is just putting their butt all over my Like, no like, like you. Fact. And they finna have that shit out there for the rest of their life, and they ain't making no money, and but they, they trying to make think a scene. About that. Yeah, and they, yeah. it's gonna be 20 years from now, and their kids gonna wanna run for president, and they gonna say, nope, remember this shit you did? And they ain't even make no real money about it. But so they need to put that part out there. Everybody, most people ain't making the money. That's a fact. Go, I think we need to talk about that. Let me, yeah. let me say some, some real shit. One thing I can tell you about the OnlyFans yeah. and all this other shit. I ain't mad at you. No, no, no. I ain't talking about that. Oh, okay. But I'm saying if you do get a that's making millions of dollars off of OnlyFans and she ain't got no pimp, you a cold because you didn't pimp to pass the bullshit, the money and everything. So you understand me? That you know, like the sauce. So the nigga that's girl in the OnlyFans big thing, they they that's pimping. Well. Pimping is pimping. Yeah, right. Miss because Pimpin really, pimpin this, this, yeah. I done seen so I know some some girls right now with OnlyFans that they be looking for boyfriends as yeah. content creators, yeah. but they gonna go on plug you into the whole little system and turn you off. Yeah, but that ain't pimping though, right? Because you know if that's the pimping, then you can say the porn industry is pimping. But when we say pimping the concept, put it in my pocket, yeah, it's pimping. But what I was saying is that you know what made pimping so beautiful back in the day was the track. The blade. Why was that? Because a bitch couldn't be on the blade unless she had a pimp. And then when the bitch left for a pimp, she had to go be with another pimp. And if she didn't, they called her a renegade. And then a renegade, all other but you know, mowed up and the pimps were sweating so she couldn't get no money. That was how we did it. Now I go back to all the way to the 70s with this shit, right? I was in there in the 70s. So that's the difference between the day. Then you got, uh, uh, what's that shit? Uh, uh, back page and what's the other one? Red book. Red book, e rolls, and all that stuff. So when that shit come, now the bitch can sit up in the hotel and she can the renegades. Phone. Yeah, she can renegade because she she ain't got the answer to no coming on the blade. So that's what the game up. Yes, the internet game up as we know it. But at the same time, you know what I'm saying, the young like the Goldies and, and you know the Capones, all these young getting money right now, it made it better for them. You know what I'm saying? Like Goldie know how to use the internet and he ain't got to have now He's still gonna check thirty, forty thousand dollars a day, no. a, a month. You know what I'm saying? That's good. Selling the same game. But but you all all of gotta get the credit to Pimpin' Ken, because I started at www.pimpinken.net. I was the first on the net. It's it's proven, it's on records. Okay, no more like that. So I I I I I, leave, I took the leap of faith and I'm glad these taking it and taking it past where I could ever take it at. You know what I'm saying? I love these young Shit. Right. You know what? And I feel like we should really clarify once and for all because I think the thing is everybody want to be a pimp. What's wrong with having a girlfriend and she getting you some money? What's wrong? That's going to keep you out of prison. The pimp going to prison for 100 years for right. human trafficking. Yeah. Your girlfriend, that's your girlfriend that y'all just doing OnlyFans. You going to get some money, live how you want to live. You feel me? And you ain't going to go to prison. How, how, they, they, shame huh? how they shame Because the gang in the game is going to shame you and I guess uh, other people outside the game picked that up and said that my thing is this like I would always say and I would tell people to adopt this if you feeling some type of way like you ain't pimping straight lace and everything like that tell them call me what you want but you can't call me broke let your bankroll speak for you because I thought that's what we was doing it for that's what it is about you they know what I'm saying treat me it's about nothing else yeah. so my Give son, my son we, we did, did, we did yeah. off the porch and my son told everybody in the whole world my mama's a and my daddy's a pimp he said, I love my mama and my daddy. You see what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Me, so, but my son, because he come from the game, you know what I'm saying? He don't play the game like how me and his mama played it back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Me, he got his own elevation, he got his own strategy, he got his own rules, whatever the f he got going on. You know then saying? also, I think, then also, I think, act like they ain't girlfriend pimping, even the real pimps, and they be slick, sleeping with the broad. But what's but, but but that's the thing. What's what's wrong with sleeping with your nothing? Home? But I'm saying when it's something wrong with it when you trying to put it out. Like now you don't pull to sleep with the I, bitch. I don't know who said that. So said is that, 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 that That's what I'm saying. Who ever said that? Where did this come from? So, so you sharing the fact. with the streets? Hey, let me give you a fun fact. You shared the with hey. the streets. Yes hey. or no? Yes. Yeah, 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 my bitch belong to the community. <laughs> hey, but check this out. I always tell the bitch sell my part. <laughs> Dang, so check this out. Hey man, the, the, hey, one of the, the coldest I ever had was the, the pre style, the porn style. You know her. Yeah, right? yeah, she was, was hard. I, I turned it out. She was hard. Now I turned that hoe out. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? But man, the, make sure put, you're on the hey, mic. The, so. the, the, 
Ask any one of them porn, them porn. Ask one of them porn. Uh, got some of the best pussy in the that world. That bitch was hard. But check this out. Any one of them uh, porn will tell you, uh, Mr. Steele, all of them tell you, that's some good pussy. But you understand me? Where you come in, where, where, where the game come in at, is no matter how good the pussy was, I had to have a a big head. I couldn't let my little head be my big head. So all the time that me and that was together, which for some years, you understand what I'm saying? Me, you know, I had to, even though there was a fine. And the was cold. Yeah, she was you know what cold. I'm saying? I had to maintain my she a legend. Yeah, she's in a legend. the porn industry. And this, I turned the bitch out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I turned the bitch out. What do you out. mean? She was a normal bitch at first. Well, you know, she, was, like she, she was working at Nikki's in, in uh, Atlanta. I took the out of Nikki's and we took the bitch around the world. You understand know what I'm saying? That was my But I'm saying the bitch got some mean heads some mean coochie. But I pimped past that. You know what I'm saying? Me, uh, when, when I knocked this white uh, uh, blind, uh, green eyed, beautiful white, you understand? Zero fat, cold, you understand? Young when she was young. Hey, man, listen, uh, that got jealous. I told him to kick rocks. Stood on my pimping, man. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm going to talk about. That's what makes you a pimp. Those are the principles that, that's the levels that you're going to get to. But it's a lot of, you and Dom. No, you Dom. said girlfriend pimp. That's yeah. what I was saying. If anybody, hold, hold, hold on, hold on. If any that I think I should have fell in love with was that pretty style. Yeah, she won. This was beautiful. Bitch had a monkey grip. Bitch, bitch had the coldest pussy in the world. Hey man, but you understand? I didn't. I didn't let that affect my ism. You understand what I'm saying? So that's when you say niggas is boyfriend. Some they get that. It's some niggas. She ain't the only like that. They get that. They fall in love. So with do you agree or not that that you post the fuck on the or not? Cause you talking like I that one had the ism. I ain't. No, 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 I told you. I, yeah, 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 so you just didn't fall in love with the you know, That's the key. Okay. See, love like me is like a full letter word, like shit, so that shit. You know what <laughs> I mean? I ain't fall in love with nothing. Because guess why? How can I love a Say, ho, you know what I'm talking about. You, how can I love you? You go out there and you do all these tricks. That's what I'm saying. I'm, 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 I'm not for the love that That's what I'm that's saying. What I'm saying. Mean, she don't love me because she do shit sit the fuck ass at home and, get, and make it just mine. But because we chose this game, I understand that this is going out there. And so know, that's my point. Let me let me let me speak on that. No different schools of thought. That ain't how I came up. You know what I'm saying? My thing is this: if a bra going outside every night to risk her life, her freedom, to go make sure that I'm eating and living well, how could I not love that? Who I'm supposed to love? Okay, but let me ask you this. Let me let me, let me say this. What about when I give you that phone call? You still gonna love me when I knock you for the? Man, just because I, just, first of all, no, I'm, just I'm, asking, I'm just asking a question. This is what I'm saying. It ain't about me loving her. I'm going to stand on my principles regardless. I could love somebody and be hurt that she gone, but still accept that phone call. I think you love what she do. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. I think you love what she do. Oh, 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 but see, see, some people right here, they should really peep the game that I'm saying, man. Because you run around telling these bras all love them. Oh, man, I, I wonder how long you're going to have her. But if you let the bitch know, bitch, we could be in love. You just got to handle my business. I bet you have her a lot longer. So peep the game right here. You want to run around telling these hoes you don't love them? How she really gonna be down for you, man. That's all I'm saying. Hey, I'm gonna tell these niggas like this because because you finna get these niggas going to prison. Do you want a woman who's jammed up in an interrogation? Don't pimp, don't thinking pimp. Thinking in the back of her mind, this nigga said he don't love me. Or do you want to listen in the interrogation room thinking my, my man love me? That's gonna be a different outcome for you. You feel me? And, 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 hold on, that's gonna say something. Though. Hey, let, let, let me tell you the other side. Every I know from my era. It might be a new era. Like, I can't knock Goldie. It might be right. You know what I'm saying? But then love is it's true. true. You maybe maybe love Goldie. Goldie. The love is true. Goldie, I probably kept the whole long time. I love her. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> you talking about Pittman Pants. No, nah, but every that I know that fell in love with they hoes, the, the, the book of what they're going to no. do, they left them just like he, they left, like he, it's left not the mama. She didn't leave because he loved her. She left because he wasn't standing on his principles because he loved her. It's a difference. If I could love a woman but still stand on my principles and turn down that million, million dollars from it because it ain't coming away, and, 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 and it's going to be the same and, way. And I, and, I, and I agree with you. If I was, if I, I was raised by uh, cold-hearted pimps, niggas that had zero sympathy. So if I <laughs> came up in your area and it seemed to be working for you, you know what I mean? Look at, look at this. Uh, you know, <laughs> that's a I ain't got no holes, though. That's, that's what I'm saying. I ain't got no holes. I'm just saying, you know. No, but, but, but I'm just think saying. about it. A woman going out every night working 10, 12 hours to get you your money. To get you your money, she making sure you riding clean, looking clean, having the best. How could 
would you not love her? I gotta get this conversation, bro. I don't know. Let's do some yo mic check. It's almost to me. It's almost disrespectful that you can't love her because. These bros who coming in ain't doing nothing for them. So how could you not love the one who putting you in position? Put, if you got kids, you your kids is going to private school because she coming in bringing it with it. She knocking you other bros. You living like a king because of her. How could you not love that? Because I had bad experiences with love. Yeah, listen, you know so, when you see, say when, when people so, say love, go, go, they, they not mean go, to say go, what go, I say go, love. Go, though. Go, go, go. Look at your glasses. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. But I'm hey, saying, what, 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 and the real reason you don't tell a bro that you love her is because she gonna get misconstrued of what I mean when I say that. She think I mean it in a way that she mean because she can't never really love me like that i love her in the sense of you doing for me you love what she do i'm gonna take care of you i'm gonna make sure you straight that's what i mean by love you so, know what i'm so, saying so 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 what, what you thinking of love is so man, I'm, I'm all head over heels I, out my mind about no i ain't talking about that no so i probably love the so you you will take care of giving me money and she take care of my business i got the love of doing for me so i agree with you on that but what i'm saying is that i guess my uh shock value always been like every time that you know i get into a bra like so give you a bad example i get a bra you know i, I remember i got this puerto rican prime it's you know cold you know what i mean body everything you know get money you know what i'm saying me and the me you know daddy i love you you know what i'm saying me i ain't gonna never leave you right you know what i'm saying me I, I comes in the house one day. I'm making a phone call looking for. The ain't nowhere to be found. Yeah, I mean, you know how many times that happened to me. Now I now, one, one more thing. So I'm I'm in uh I'm in North Carolina and tell me she loved me. So I had some people tell me I grabbed yeah. I grabbed a her weed low look and I took <laughs> and I put the in the water. We was in the swimming pool and the went, she said, ah. I said bitch, what she love? I love you, daddy. I put the back in the water. And, and she came up. She said, I just give me some I said, what she love? She said, I love you, daddy. I put it in the water again. So who you love? She said, Air. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? To fix her mouth to say anything. But listen, listen. <laughs> yeah, for sure. A, a broad tell me she loved me. I say, well, show me, because love is a verb. It don't matter what you say, show me. It you is a verb. Me? So I'm not, I'm not getting tricked by a woman's words, and it's just like this, right? You can have a car that you love, but guess what? You ain't going to have that car your whole life, but guess what? When you had it, you took care of it, you washed it, you got it maintenance. This is like the bro. When she with me and we together, I'm going to take care of her like she mine, but I do understand it's an expiration. I agree with that. I agree with that. I agree with that. But guess what? And when I give up the keys to the next man, I still had the fond memories of the things and the experiences we had, and I'm right. mad at Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. I was just saying. You know, that's how I was taught. Yeah, but like, like I said, maybe if I was in your area, but, but even and I was going to Goldie School, I'd be I follow that. That's but you a, know, you know that love is a convoluted word. You know, I'm not saying it the way I'm not saying I'm loving a bro, but I'm gonna take care of her. I'm gonna do for her. I'm gonna care for somebody who cares for me in my life and making sure I'm living with. Her. Yeah, I, nah, I, that's, I, I but, think but everybody's that's, saying the same thing. Yeah, it's, it's just it's different, different ways. Nah, nah, nah. We ain't saying the same thing. <laughs> now I'm talking about the pimps. How they do it? Like, cause the pimp. Nah, like, y'all ain't even saying the same thing. Now, what I'm saying, it, back in the day, say, you know what I'm saying, me, you know, uh, pretty is what pretty does. So if it was fine as wine in the summertime, if she didn't give me no money, she's an ugly ass. Yeah, straight. You know what I'm saying? So, but if you doing take care of my business, hey man, like Goldie said, man, hey man, I love this whole horn. You know what I'm saying? This is getting my money. I love the horn. But you but, just was saying that. How can you love her and you know she I give you love money by way of, I, yeah. Listen, I said I love a horn. Okay. I don't love so y'all ain't agreeing then is what I'm saying. Well, well, but well, y'all both stand well, on the same thing. He's saying the same home. thing. So if he get, if you heard me say if, 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 if the expiration date and for the, he gonna send the shit on. He gonna like he, he gonna get on. He gonna tell the I, I don't know show. about that though because that ain't love, dude. I don't know if that's loving the bitch. No, Taking no, no, care no. of the bitch. They loving on let the me, bitch. Let me tell you though, Break it is, down. is love not okay? Right? Taking care of the bitch. They loving listen, on listen, the bitch. When you love, when you love a woman, right? When you love somebody, we got this shit to throw away, bro. Listen, hold on, hold on. Real love though, right? Your mama really love you. Your brother really love you, right? And they want you to be with the best person for you, right? That's real love, right? So if the broad don't want to be with me, and there's somebody better out there, and she want to go, it's real love to say, baby, you can go. Would it not? It would be not. Nah, real nah, love nah. That ain't, that ain't. But that ain't. That ain't what I'm, I'm. I'm saying isn't real love. That is a qualified as real love. So then the letter what is I'm, real love. Well, not 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 even to let her go to share with the streets. 
So what I'm no, saying is the you sharing her with the tricks and then you still saying that no. in this time Man, you saying it you, you saying we sharing her. We not sharing her though, because she not getting all of her like I get all of her. He you getting the best parts of her, man. You think it's the best part, and he think it's the best part, but I understand her mind. If you but her, if you got her, hold on, hold on. Oh, what's the best part? Her pussy or her money and her mind and everything to come to have me living well. That dude only getting uh five minutes of some pleasure. Yeah. I'm getting her mind, her money, her everything that come with her, her emotions. Emotions, everything that make my life good. So That's what's true. the best hey, part? Y'all thinking is the pussy is the best part. When I see a woman, the pussy is the last. No, thing the, 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 my, my thinking is the pussy is the best part to her. That's her most valuable nah. asset to her. That's why she using it by way of you. That's why it's powerful because she using the pussy to go get the money. Because the pussy is powerful. Because the power of the vagina. Yeah. Okay. So so I'm telling you the. I think the pussy is the most powerful I'd thing she it. got. I put the value on the pussy. The trick put the value on the pussy. He think it's worth a thousand dollars. I don't think it's worth nothing because I don't pay for it. So I decide what the value is. And to me, the most valuable thing about her is her, not the pussy. So you telling me that you could love a woman that's sharing her pussy with the trick? Yes. All right, fact. Yes. Now, me, any now, me out there who can say otherwise, man, I, you know. Now, now we, we got, got one next okay. to you. We got to talk. You got one next to you. No, 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 no. Don't put me that shit low. What I'm trying to tell you is this, man. This is what I'm trying to tell you. Goldie is my nigga. If that's what he say that he do, I agree. But we giving games, though. Still, we talking but games. But, I'm telling you, but I, let, let me just finish. Oh, yeah. So what I'm saying, pimp, is that love is like a four-letter word to me. F shit, so f that shit. So why I say that is because, first of all, my trauma as a kid, like I said, my girlfriend, you know, end up sleeping with a grown man and, and, and embarrass me. You know, it's a lot of things that is in my is in my genetic makeup that creates that mentality. And then it's so many women. I don't know how many women go to here, but I had hundreds and thousands of them. Make sure that, you stay back on them. I had hundreds and thousands of women that came and went. I've been sold dreams my whole career. You know what I'm saying? And, and I was taught that the pussy belonged to the community. That's just my perspective. Now, today, because... Ain't no today, today because today there's no track think about that pimp yeah think about low the track created a different breed of just like that was like, like the lead like the dope game the dope game back in our day all about the, i can show you some pictures i'm gonna show you some pictures when we get offline of all who was selling dope and the kind of money they was having you know today you don't see that these is hustling for jordans now these are hustling for a t-shirt they hustling to pay a bill some of but y'all disagree on the fact of you said I can't love her. I'm sharing it with the street. I can't love her like that. I can't, He's saying I that can't, I can't. I'm loving her by, even though I'm sharing her with the street. The reason, why I, can't, the reason why I can't love the is because she's giving my so-called love away. That's the reason why I can't love her. And what I would say is I don't feel like her giving her pussy away is giving my love away if she bringing me the money. If she gave my money away now, now she brings, she gives okay. my love away now. Okay, you know so, so now, but, but, but I guess uh, more, more accurately said, if she's... If the pussy is a money voucher. No, 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 no. Like, like, you know, I guess we're coming from the Christian perspective, right? You know, one, one man, one woman, right? Or whatever the that shit is, the Muslim perspective. So when you think about it, you know, you're thinking about it like that. You know, you're thinking about... Uh, a, a monogamous relationship. You're thinking about yeah. a, a a man and a woman experience. You're thinking about bearing children. You're thinking about like that. From that perspective, you know what I'm and saying. And the we, value of sex is like you you. So you have no value on sex. Are period. you married? Are, are nah. You married? Okay. If you got a girlfriend, I got a few people I deal with. Okay. So if you look at hold, hold on, hold on, ask some question. So if you look at your girlfriend, and and I walked in the room, right? And she, she got in my business, right? You know what I mean? You feel some type of way if she was coming to She ain't going to get in your business. But I'm just saying. No, but I'm saying if she, yeah. did, if she did that, it'd be a violation, right? She ain't going to. What do you no, mean get in your no, business? I'm yeah, just, she ain't going to talk. She, no, I'm, I'm, don't look at yourself as actually happening. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah nah, happening. ain't nothing happening. Yeah, so, yeah. So, so, so what I'm saying is that most men that they in the lifestyle, when they have a woman, if that woman yeah. go and be with somebody else, they gonna feel some type of way. Nah, but I won't feel no. T she just ain't gonna do it. She, I don't. I don't. You know saying, but if she, if do she do speak it. to you, hey, how you doing? Or, so if a woman cheat on you, right? Ain't, yeah, nah, I don't like woman, to be if, cheated. Nah, on. if a woman cheat on you, that's a violation, right? <laughs> yeah, so I don't like my, to be my cheated. My cheated on me all day, every day. See, that's what I'm saying. Well, Make well, sure you're on the mic, kid. No, 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 no. My
Just cheated on me all day, every day, so that didn't make no difference to me. But it's a difference. Cheat on me. If a woman is having sex with uh, multiple men every day, the value she put on sex is very low. Th therefore, it's something else that makes her valuable, right? Because if she can have sex 100 times a day, then how is having sex with somebody meaning something? It's not the, even meaningful to her. No, it's that's meaningful not true. to a square. It's meaningful that, to somebody. That's no, not true. Because if that was true, so she'd do it free. Go to it. Hey, go. if it ain't meaningful to her, she'll do it for free. And there is people doing I that. Gotta, they're not in the hey, game. Hey, let Hey, let me, hey, I got a question. Got, how, how much them glasses cost? Like 10000 with yeah. diamonds in Okay, 10000 right? So, how much do a trick pay for uh, 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 the average, you know, today? I, I, don't, I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm don't just saying, know. I'm just saying what you get. Guess what you say, $100, $1,000? 1000 So, okay, so the pussy got value. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. But what I'm saying, different. It, Listen, the, the let's woman, go back to what I'm saying. If she thought sex had no value, she'd do it for free. And now all no, women it doing it for value free. To the, it has value to the trick. It don't have nah, value. No, me. she understands the value by the but exchange you, of but it. You Listen, value everything in the store got a. a, 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 a but you decide. Everything in the store got a. buying it or not? Do you not? If I, I don't think it's worth that, so I yeah, but people it. coming out the store with it. So, so the trick is coming with it. No, 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 even no, no, no. <laughs> even the people that's making it, because there's a cost associated with making it, it getting it there. But if right? don't nobody so, buy it, then that's because they said that value is not what it is. It's not that valuable, right? <laughs> so the trick still finds it valuable. I don't find it valuable. That's why she you don't. Know, but she does. We talking about her. But she still finds it valuable. But when she comes to me, she understands it has no value with me. Nah, I don't believe that because she's still getting. <laughs> money for no, it. No, no, no. It's hard to she tell. She can't exchange her pussy for anything from me, though. And she don't Not from you. Exactly. But, but right? that don't tell the value off. Just because you don't buy the you listen, me. Just because you don't buy the billy don't mean the bill ain't going to be sold. The billy got value even if you don't see the value. Listen. So just because you say the pussy, the pussy is a money voucher. That's the whole game. Okay, okay. I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. It's valuable to the trick. He can, she can exchange her pussy. It's valuable in all, just not okay. to you. Let me, let me, let me say this. She can exchange her pussy. Pimpin' the kid is you a trick? He, he basically calling you a trick. No, 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 no. Let because if Pimpin' the no, kid said it got value. No, no, no. She can exchange her pussy for some money from the trick. She can't exchange her pussy for anything. Nah, no, that ain't the, the the value. See, you changing it, and you you keep bringing it back <laughs> to the money because what we talking about is she giving my love away, not my money away. So if we say. You her like pussy to love. Right, uh, we finna tell you. So the, the the human experience with one another, being intimate, that's that's supposed to be an intimate setting if we're going on Christian values and rules, which I was raised on, right? Okay. So what we saying is a man and a woman most intimate setting is having sex. If is it in this day and age, is it when you got only fans, you got Going out, it you still is. Women, it's still you, sacred. You have women it's still hundred, sacred. Hundred, hundred body counts, how is it sacred anymore? It's still sacred. It's still sacred. sacred. You, yeah. No, not to me. Not to me, because I have to multiple most, sex parts. To parties. most women, it's not sacred. So, I don't know about hey, that. I can't hey, speak hey, on most women. women. But I want to go back, because this oh, is yeah. a good conversation. Yeah, yeah. 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 What we're talking about is the value of pussy being what it is, regardless if you don't. But, verify it or not. Hey, well, I can say this. Pussy got me in my in my younger. It bought me everything. You get in my car, nigga. You gonna need some missing gear dust because it smells like pussy. You understand know what I'm saying? So pussy bought me everything. So pussy so, got value. Yeah, pussy, pussy, it, it, to it, me, if pussy now, has but, so much value, not to you, but, but to the market. The market puts value yeah, what, on what, shit. What, not this. Me. I, what, put a, what, I put a value on it in my household. In your household. And that's the only thing that matters. Why am I worried about nah, what it is in the marketplace? That's place? being delusional. In my household. That's being delusional because she's swapping it. And what we talking about is her swapping that. have a philosophical difference. Yeah. <laughs> but we talking about her swapping the pussy, right? So we no, said, yeah. I, the shorty swapping the, 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 swapping the pussy. So therefore, if she go out and do anything else, I might get, I might get still have love for her. You saying I can love her despite her sex partner. She can be selling her pussy. Pussy, and I'm going to take care of her, love her, because by way of her selling her pussy, I'm living how I'm living. Yeah, exactly. and, get, right? and I feel like that's more important to me. If she's putting me in a position to live good. But don't, that don't mean that she ain't giving the love or the pussy away and it got value. I, the, the pussy ain't love to me. I, I, I just can't concede that. The pussy don't mean love to me because I don't see pussy in that way. Pussy don't mean love. No, I ain't saying that. We said pussy has value. value. You just, no, he you said that. Pussy. No, no. You no said well, that. I meant to say my pussy. She's giving my love away is what he said. I've always said that like my pussy had value. Hold on, hold on, Lou. I'm looking at it like you from a Christian value. Right. Because, you know, my mom and them be like, uh, make love and shit. So that's that's what I guess that's what I was. I'm old school, so we, I might be saying what I really mean. She's giving my pussy away. So 
You can give all my, sell all my parts. So how can the game be based on? How can the game be based on pussy being sold? And then there's a in the game saying pussy ain't got no value. The game, the the pussy has no value to me. She can't exchange it for anything in my household. She can't exchange. But we ain't talking about with you. We got there. You boss hog. Pussy don't got no value to you. But outside of the you, yeah, when she go out it. there, she is exchanging the pussy for money. Okay. So how can you try to convince her that the pussy don't got no value? Okay. That's my question. Okay, it's like this. I don't see, I don't have any connection and no feelings about her going out there and getting some money with these other dudes if she bringing me back the money and this is allowing us to live the way we want to live. Because to me, she's giving him something that she's giving to everybody, but what she gives to me is something she'll never give to You nobody. got trust in the bitch though. Why I got trust in the bitch? What if she go raw? It's A's. What nah, if... she ain't doing that. Nah, how you know that? He <laughs> said he been <laughs> sold <laughs> dreams. He <laughs> said he been sold dreams for 30 years. How okay. you? But what that got to do with this conversation? I, that's a valid conversation. Well, but what but that got to do with this Because I'm about. saying that the trust you have and in, in the circumstances not change. Let me take him to the next level. Now, 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 let me take you to the next Let me take you to the next level. This going to f*** you up. After you get so many degrees in the game, so a lot of these got the ABCs, but they ain't got the XYZs. Right. Then you don't sell pussy no more, you sell pussyality. You know what I'm saying? You teach them how to not flat back. You know what I'm saying? You teach them how to go out there and wind down a trick and break them. So we ain't giving you the full game. Yeah, yeah that's why. You know what I'm saying? That's why, saying? That's why, that's why he got it confused. Yeah, yeah, so you know what I'm saying? I mean, now, like, we talking about pussy selling. No, no, but that's the lowest level of the game. That's the lowest level of the game. So now we elevating the game. Now yeah. the topic changes, bro. The topic changes. We were dealing with does pussy have value? No, we talking about. Selling pussyality. Now remember, that's good game, but I'm going to hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, remember I told you about the gratuity? That's pussyality. So yeah. my my bitch in the in the VIP room mm -hmm. room with a trick at, at Deja Vu, this bitch. Yeah, well, yeah, well my bitch is in the VIP room at, at, at Deja Vu, you know what I'm saying? I mean, she telling the trick, uh, oh, you making me horny. She playing with her pussy. But she paid the security guard to keep coming back there so the trick won't know that, you understand me, that he can't really have it. So she telling the trick to jack his dick off. Now, the trick ain't finna get no pussy. Yeah. You know what I'm She's selling pussy alley. But you know what I'm saying? But that's what OnlyFans is, too. No, no, because but... They but no, no, it's a different level of that. The, the, the only fans is the same thing, but pussyality means that, you know what I'm saying, you can run the trick up. She can leave there and go to the casino, casino for 10000 But I still don't want you to try to finesse it out this conversation because no, I ain't trying to finesse. Nah, nah, what are we dealing with? And, but that's, that's we going there right now, but I want to put a button on this. You what we dealing with? You let me yeah. finish though, Lou. Let me but, finish. But we going there though. Lou, let go me ahead. finish. Go it ahead. gets to a point, right? Where the pussy, when you get elevation game, the pussy only be yours. Yeah. So you only, you only nigga. You got some real game. If you got the, some real game. So bitch don't you know, sell pussy. She sell game. You yeah, know, it's, so, it's it's an art to to separate a man from his money. Yeah, we just don't get these games. The lowest level of the game, man. And ain't no out here. Let me tell you out here who think you doing something. The lowest level of the game, you ain't never gonna get rich out here if your woman is flat backing. So if you don't elevate your game, there's no, got, nobody in the game has ever got rich with a woman only flat backing. You better get some skills and some real yeah. game about yourself. Right. That's the lowest level of the game because everybody could do it and if everybody could do it, it's not that valuable. When you got some real game, that's where the big money come in. And that's, that's where I elevated to. Hey, let me tell you something too, right? I used to, well, this is what I've heard, right? You wanna sell that trick the same feeling you selling that bra, that butterflies in your stomach, that feeling that you can't buy off the store. You can't buy that feeling at the store, which means it's priceless. His wife can't give him that feeling. You feel what I'm saying? When you can give him that feeling, that's priceless. You can sell it for however much. Sex, you know, it's only a certain amount you can sell that for. That's true. But something, that feeling that you give yeah, him, yeah, the butterflies yeah. in his stomach, that experience, you can sell that for an unlimited yeah. amount of money. That's real nah, game. Yeah, yeah. That's the real game. That's, that's what they get fact. sugar daddies. Yeah. That's, that's the whole level. Yeah, nah, that's the, that's the elevation though. Yeah, that's what like, that's like you're saying. That's the elevation, and that's the only game people should really be shooting for. But they ain't never got laced. You know what? Don't go there. Right. Don't know go, the go level. There. It's so hard to get to the to teach them that because they so caught they up. They think they know better. No, they, they don't want to pay for no game. They called up right. playing, I'm a pimp. I'm a pimp. They just want to that's say that shit. They don't want to get no real they money. What it look like? Yeah, they care what it look like. That's it's the problem. Pimps, it's pimps getting money nowadays. I'm a, you want to take that one? Well, you know, I ain't pimping, so I can't say nothing. Oh, right, right, <laughs> right, 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 right. I'm going to tell you I, like I this. But that's that. You can still observe. I'm gonna me. I ain't a wrestler, I, but I can tell you who's on the... I don't hate this shit. 
you're gonna be calling my phone. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it real. And yeah. I said, because I said to the people who really come to me for real counseling, I let them know. Find something else to do with your time, because I don't know too many rich pimps. Mm. Find something else to do. You, but I know a lot of in prison though, and they got way more game than you. You should probably do something different. Right. Most peas that I knew wasn't really having it. Right. It was like almost hitting the lottery. Like you know, people like Ken, you know, certain individuals, but for the majority, they live in day to day. They just doing it on a higher level. They just like. The Square. They got to go back to work tomorrow. And if you got to go back to work tomorrow, you ain't wealthy. You right. know what I'm saying? And most of these dudes, they got habits. They got lean habits, smoking habits, this habit. They not good with money. Gambling. So you know, gambling habits for yeah. sure. You know, so no. Most of in the game, I would say 80% of them is really You know what? Them. Because it's akin to the streets. A most in the streets I ain't getting money. Hey, I say that all the time. Most drug dealers yeah, ain't having yeah, it like yeah, that. You would yeah, think the, yeah. the opposite, though. Yeah, it's nah. Same, right? This it's shit is really shit. cousins. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just, it's interesting because... Pimps want to keep the street shit away from it. You know, that game want to keep that that violence and all that shit to go with it away from it. Because you know back I mean? then it was fashionable to do that. Nowadays, most of the pimps are gang members. For real. Yeah, you get killed uh, talking about you pimping in L.A. or uh, somewhere now, man, on the track. You know, I was just in Dallas. Uh, the OG pimp Neptune got killed. Uh, 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 young Brian, you know what I'm saying? Me, just uh, 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 so many pimps and got shot recently. This is a very dangerous game. Then the time carry life, you know what I mean? Then life, they treat pimps in the penitentiary worse than they treat uh, uh, killers. You know what I'm saying? And then they give them a rape charge. They they got to register when they come home yeah. and, and yeah, so move over, y'all. About yeah. all they plan. Yeah, yeah cause, you know why though, right? Let me explain wow. this. Go because when I was in D.C. and a lot of the tricks, they was the congressmen and the senators. You know what I'm saying? And they got mad at these young black men with these pretty white who they can't like Goldie said. They getting butterflies in their stomach about this, and they going all out. So they made a concerted effort to attack and call it human trafficking. Dog, pimping is the oldest game yeah. in the world. How the fuck we get human trafficking out of that shit? That's just like if you hit somebody in a car. When I was young, years somebody was an accident. Now it's called vehicle homicide. See, you know what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? They, I, I, they, I gotta speak on that real quick too. When you was talking about, you know, you talking about a lot of pimps be getting shot and shit like that. You gotta think about it because we still in the streets. So we, a lot of dudes in the in the culture, they still abide by those street codes. So guess what? Who who do robbers rob? They rob the drug dealers because they know they can't say nothing. They rob the pimps who know who got cash who ain't gonna say nothing. So that's why pimps be a target. And for everybody who's watching, because I really want to say this and I really mean this shit. If anybody is out here encouraging you to pimp, they are not your friend and you gonna go to prison. And guess what? When you go to prison, when you get out, go ahead and register as a sex offender and have that on your name the rest of your life. Yeah, so you're not, not going to make it. Yeah. And, and, and there's so many avenues to get money these days. Use a motherfucking fool to take the hardest route. You know, they said 100 years for that. That's why I'm out here. I'm trying to give the game and the principles of the game, the manhood shit, the standing on your principles, elevating yourself as a king. That's the, that's the part you of know, the that's game my, that I want to get. That, that's my move too, man, because I think, you know, I got to get into that, that course part of this business man because so many people get stuff from what you deposit in the game like man i need to be monetizing that shit Definitely. i think that's a great uh outlet that you use and, and you reference it a lot so that's that's great all of that shit how you tie it in that's good game yeah goldie you know got saying? some good classes man you know he, he make decent money you know yeah. i got the hip-hop fraternity you know what i'm saying i got hhf magazine hhf uh, awards we got HHF, social media, you know, we, we, we evolving to another level. I got two books, Boosie signed to me, Ice-T signed to me. I got five movies coming out with uh, Boosie, Ice-T, Rick Ross, myself, Pimp C, you know what I'm saying? So it's about elevation. So if there's some young people out there watching, man, we just want y'all to know, man, yeah, we having fun with Loon, you know, yeah, kicking we talking game. Shit. Yeah, the real, this, the is, game, this is what they need, though. Yeah, yeah they is, need this. Because it's edutainment, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And, and most people, they don't get it, because what you don't understand is most dudes in the lifestyle, man, we, we say it all the time, right? Uh, Pimpin' a hoe is the only, is the best actors not in Hollywood. Every time they get on camera, they really trying to sell you some game. Yeah. They're not going to give you the real. They're right. not going to tell you, like I'm telling you, most of yeah. these things is broke. They're right. not going to tell you that part right they're not gonna tell you how it's going but to that's why i be that. wanting to get to it though because i be knowing like i understand because i yeah. was that person infatuated with this lifestyle if it would have told me the truth i would have did something different right. so i'm trying to give somebody the truth nah. so when you know the truth now you can decide i'm not gonna make it look like it's something that it really wasn't for real. they did that to me in the street exactly. man like same shit. and then when i really went and got it i figured out didn't nobody have it yeah like they, I, my whole life I thought they had it. They was really getting it. Then I went and got it and figured out don't nobody got it. Yeah. How many you know they get indicted and don't have lawyer fees and can't bail yeah, out? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah.
You'd that be, shit, like it, this game is this game is a is a it's a uh, trick. It's a go trick. Back to the, man, these do everything for these, man. You know, and they be campaigning and high capping for these. People. They think they got it, and then you know they have baby body go to jail. They like, well, daddy, where the money at, baby? Where the money at? Yeah. Ain't no money. What you it's mean? It's over with. Yeah. yeah. And then she she flip on you like he was saying. Do you want your girl in there saying? Thinking in her brain, I, love he loved me just, or he it's don't it's love just me. Yep, he did this, this, and that. Let's yeah. get out of here. And I say this too, man. I tell people all the time that come to me, you know, they want to do this with the bra. Y'all making a bra way too important. I wish I would have spent more time instead of pouring into the bra, trying to build the bra up. If I took all that same time and energy and poured it into me, what could I be? Yeah. I can't run off on myself. Yeah. I can't tell on myself. Pour into yourself. You know what I'm saying? It might take a little bit longer to get to where you're going, but that's that's all stuff that's that you can't run off on. That's the same shit I tell them. Yeah. Just pour it shit I tell the same them. Yeah, plant that, plant them seeds. That's the only way you're going to get it. Like, y'all in here, y'all see me by myself. That's my guy, but, like, this is my town. I can snap a finger and have a hundred outside. Literally. If I just say I'm right here, a hundred pull up. Like, you know what I mean? But I don't I don't like being around people because I've been ratting on. i literally been told on me, not my friend, not no I saw coming up, told on me. So that so affected what you think my about life. Snitching? I've been personally affected by that, so that's that's a no go for me, and it's unfortunate because I could, you know, for me, uh, it's poison. Just the whole game is poison. That's what they say, though. That's really a part of the yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, like that, yeah, it's, it's a game, part of the game. No, but, but but you know, if like, I found out the research, if ninety percent don't open their mouth, they all be the case. Yeah, so I ain't never had no code of fitness, so you know the only on me he worked for the, like he literally got flipped into informant. a co confidential informant yeah, yeah. They, they got budgets on that level yeah man. yeah yeah so yeah. for me they pay if you snitch man. the feds say if, if the niggas they just told me in the feds that if you if you snitch on he got a half a million dollars you get 250,000 yeah. yeah they make it so and, and if, a whole, if a whole snitch on a pimp and, 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 and this human trafficker she get all her cases dissolved and they give her uh, some money. Let's in the talk program. about the human trafficking shit. What what do y'all what's y'all feelings on Andrew Tate? I let, I let Goldie go first. Uh, Andrew Tate, uh, shit, he f up. You know, by by getting on camera and saying that he was a pimp and glorifying that. They don't play that shit. I don't think he he was did. called saying that. No, no, he did because I seen the video. And, I uh, seen that one video earlier on. No, like, no, I seen it. He said it, you know, and he was popping his shit. What you got to know is they don't play that shit. They, and look how much money he got, it still don't matter. You don't never get on that unless you really retired talking about that shit because they understand, like uh, the, the movie American Pimp, they shelved it, not because it's not selling, because they understand the influence that has on a generation. And a dude in his position out here promoting pimping, they gonna take you down. Was he promoting pimping? He was promoting some sort of pimping. We wouldn't call it pimping, but it's exploitation of women and tricking them and things like that out his own mouth. So, so my, I mean, but I like his style. You know, I like some of the stuff he say. But he should be a cautionary tale to get on this internet and be popping it. So my real respect for human trafficking is a uh, a ploy in the plot by the United States United States government to incarcerate young African American men. Uh, they got what you call CCA, Correctional Corporation of America. It's on the New York Stock Exchange. America is 5% of the world's population, but 25% of the world's impo uh, incarceration. Out of that 12, out of that 25%, 50% uh, of the men in, in America incarcerated are black men. So that means that 12.5% of the people in the world incarcerated are men here in, this, in the United States of America. We only represent 13% of the population. So, you know, only 6% eligible, eligibility of people can go to jail. So when you think of pimps up, hoes down, I gave you early synopsis of it. Think of uh, New Jack City, think of uh, 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 Scarface. So everybody had Scarface pictures back in the day. Everybody wanted to be New Jack, everybody wanted to solve the project. They came out with the crime bill in 1994. They gave sentence enhancement laws. They came out with the trigger lock. Okay. What did they come out with after Pimps Up, Hoes Down, American Pimps, New Dog, everybody thought they came out with human trafficking. Hollywood has always been complicit in locking black men up. It's called social engineering. It's called mass incarceration for, for a reason. You know, when uh, Abraham Lincoln freed the slaves in 1865, something very interesting happened. Then next year they had what you call the Black Codes. That was 1886. Black Codes, if you look at a white woman or if you did anything to a white person, you were immediately reincarcerated. 
separated. And then they came out with something else in, in 1986 that people don't know. It was the 13th, and 14th, and 15th Amendment. Now, the amendment that we have to be, be, be cognizant of is the 13th Amendment. It's called, they said, when one uh, commits a crime, duly commits a crime, then he reverts to slavery. Uh, I think Ava DuVernay, it's, a, it's on Netflix. It's called 13. It talks about the 13th Amendment. Anytime you commit a crime, the 13th Amendment gives the United States government the right to incarcerate us. And, and, and this, is, this is true uh, a statistic. In 1976, it was 280,000 people incarcerated. 2024 is 2.5 million. That is not by accident. That is by design. And they look at, they, they want to say, what do we do with black men? Black men are, you know, they, they, they are... Are un they are undesirables, you know, they said that, you know, we don't do nothing, we don't work, you know what I'm saying, but we don't have jobs. So if you live in the projects, you know what I'm saying, you're on welfare, you can't stay with her, you know that, you yeah. know what I'm saying, but if uh, you got a podcast, you got game for employment. If you got a, uh, a master class, you got game for employment. If you work at McDonald's, you got, got the only next level is crime. That's why so many brothers are crying. And then, you know, we always say we ain't going to work for the white man. You know why we say we work for the white man? Dr. Uh, 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 Naeem Akbar, in his book called The Psychological Issues and Change of Slavery, he said that the black man was forced to work for 250 years. 250 years. After those 250 years, 1865, guess what? The black man looked at work as punishment. I'm not going to work. I'm not going to work for the white man. We still saying it because it became a genetic thing. We still say we ain't going to work for the white man. What that means, if you don't have adequate employment, you don't have a job, you bitch on welfare, you can't get welfare, you always going to end up incarcerated. And I think that's a part of America, what they call felony statutes. Every so often they create another statute. Every time a black man say he going to do something, like he was doing daycares, they locked a lot for daycare. When he was doing uh, the home loans, a lot of people went to jail for Anytime we go somewhere, we find a hustle, the United States government figure out some way to criminalize you know, but I think, I and think, incarcerate us. I think we, because when we talk about Andrew Tate and look at like that way up cam, because Pimp C spoke about that a lot, mm -hmm. because that's where the game was going, like way up cam. Like I got a homeboy big time from around here, man, that was hustling in 2006, riding around with a laptop on that webcam with them from Columbia and everything. He was one of the first wave of webcam and like yeah, OnlyFans thing. Like, do y'all think y'all missed the mark with that? Is that is that illegal? Well, is, let, let me let me say something to you in reference to. So when I was robbing banks, right? What I would do, I would go and get a bag of pennies, like. Five hundred dollars for pennies, and put it in a little bank bag. And I would give it to them, and they'd go back there and count them. When they count them, I jump over the counter, and I get the money right. And then uh, the lady be the t the tailor be gone. So 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 one the one time the tailor came, you know, before she was supposed to come back, and that's when I got my seven years. I looked at her, and the feds said it was intimidation. So what the feds do? A lot of people don't know what this human trafficking and with the, like what made it be with Andrew Tate. They would send somebody over there to hype, you know, make the case hyperbolic. They, you know, it's different levels to federal crimes. You know what I'm saying? I mean, sometimes, you know, like, like. Hey, know, bro, give me a water if you don't mind. Y'all want a water? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, get, get two, get three waters. Yeah, they in, in, in the freezer. So, think, think about it like this, pimp. Like, Appreciate you, bro. Like, like, like if you call me. And, and, and we have a phone call, you know what I'm saying? That's that's conspiracy, right? Yeah. But but uh, Rick Ross, my, my my partner that did Freeway Ricky Ross, that I'm doing a movie with. He got he talked about in the movie. He said that his partner uh, wanted to uh, buy some drugs, so they got him for aiding the betting, aiding the betting a drug dealer. So it's different levels to that. So the case that human, the, the well, they got did on some human trafficking shit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because it's not pimping. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. But they call it the same thing as pimping. It's different levels, and they do that in the feds because the feds can make a law in your sleep. You know what I'm saying? You talk about the United States government. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you ain't got enough money to be. That's why I got a 99 percent conviction rate. I got you know a saying? homeboy fighting him now with a life sentence. So when you think when you think of, when you think about nah, nah, he fighting some some. They, what's up about the feds is my guy is fighting a 
uh, a weapons charge that got him facing life because his record's so bad. Yeah, studio man, that, in Nashville. Yeah, bro, I had so many people. But the game, like the content game, I try not to miss the wave. Like with, you with only think about moving to like Atlanta or California. I got a, I got a spot in Atlanta, but I can't move. My my children are here. Okay. And for me, like when you call me early, I'm literally at this football game. I'm big player at this football game. I'm one of them. Okay. I'm day one daddy for real. Ain't make it without dude. That's how I feel. They at my house right now. In fact, they, they in the mansion running around right now. You know what I'm saying? So I'm saying that I'm a day one daddy, so I just can't dip on them boys. You know what I mean? But if it weren't for them, I'd dip. But the but reason I brought up OnlyFans and webcam oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Let me, let me speak on that because yeah. you were speaking on the, uh, uh, that shit. And, and I'll tell a lot of dudes out here, man, when you're playing it like that, because he popularized... Uh, you know, tricking a bra, talking about, all right, I'm going to get her to do this. I'm going to act like we girlfriend and boyfriend. I'm going to tell her we taking this split. I'm going to take an extra 33%. Man, that's how you go to prison when a woman feel like she getting over. And I like to tell men, hey, man, stand on your principles. It'll save you in the long run. Be straight up with that woman about what it is. Because if you lie to her about what it is, now she has resentment and feels like she's justified in telling on you. But if you let her know from the gate what it is and what it ain't, it's going to be a lot harder for her to flip in that interrogation room when you told her and had her accepted or not accepted. So these guys trying to run off these playbooks and try to get rich fast, man, just be 100. Let people accept what you're doing or not, and that'll save you from going to prison. That's true, hey, man. <laughs> so you think I do think I heard that with him is that he played a they kind of found out at the last minute damn you kind of making more than what I thought yeah he was taking an extra 33 percent and, and that that's a that. that's a that's a problem yeah that's what I'm saying that means you don't fully got the, got a mind because if you got a mind she can know that she get us one cent off the hunter and and she can she can live with that but y'all don't never look at these girls like ducks like yo this this look dumb this girl dumb Smart. You gotta remember these. Is, if she giving you the money, now think about it. Think about it. Think about it. Pimps just smarter. But think about. So it. I look at myself, right? I just don't nobody get my money. Like but you said, you it's one of the greatest ways to separate a man from. No, you're you not. It's not gonna apply to you. You can't put yourself in the nah. position. Let, but let me say this though. You nobody can say I'm dumb because you gotta remember these. Taking money from corporate executives, from senators, from very intelligent men, and they breaking they these down. down. Because what you said, that pussy is a. I'm gonna tell you something. You think she dumb. You just don't value what she values. You value money. She values the companionship of her man. Right, the same way I don't value the pussy. She doesn't value that money like like we value the money, or she wouldn't give it up. If she if she valued the money, she'd keep it. She values the companionship of a real man, and that's what she's really paying for. You know what I'm saying? Tell me if I'm wrong about You're that. You're right. Because otherwise, that she could good. Do, most they be in the game ten years. You don't think she could do this on her own? They got OnlyFans. Why is a woman still dealing with? Because she wants that man, and she's paying for that time. And really, I. All the time she, she paying for the game yeah, yeah, she paying yeah. for the game too yeah but once she got the game what's keeping her there it's you right yeah because she want to with you but guess what i tell you all the time you don't really understand the energy exchange and a lot of times these women is getting over i used to say it all the time man she's giving you hundreds of thousands but that's stopping you from making millions if you wasn't dealing with her energy and letting her drain your energy she's sucking your energy yeah. by paying you and that energy could be best used somewhere else to make you greater and more money yeah see i you know me i, I was just so Right before all, I did all of this, coming out the street, I was in a relationship. This is what was interesting to me because, you know, I'm emotional, emotionally unavailable for the most part because I'm hustling so much. Like, I, don't, I ain't got the kind of availability to sit and worry about. You felt that? You mean to tell me you? Oh, Lord, have mercy. I ain't got that kind of time. So I lost her in that process because, you know, she expecting for a n Say, baby, why you feel like that? And I ain't have it in me. But anyway, somewhere along the lines, after we got away from each other for a while, maybe about a year, it flipped in her mind, our whole relationship, all these things. So I told her, I said, um, I'm not going to entertain the revisionist history because I'm going to be honest with you. It's revisionist history. <laughs> I'm going to use that right there. Yeah, I ain't going to entertain the revisionist history because she was literally, it started, like you said, the energy started to get, like, powerful and pulling on Man, me. Man, I'm trying to tell you. That I'm true. talking about pulling on me, trying to make me feel bad, like I left her in the dirt. or dirt, You know what I mean? It's just like a whole bunch of shit. And I wonder, do y'all ever deal with that, like, with women, like, feeling like, 
when they was with you, they were acting like everything was good. You took care of them. They, they yeah, good. yeah. And then they dip, and then they sw they. Well, you know, when you first meet, a, you meet a representative. You know what I'm saying? Even first meet, you meet a representative. You know, uh, you know, after a while, people are gonna expose themselves. You know what I'm saying? People can only fake for so long. You know what I mean? And eventually, you know what I'm saying, that person true self come out, you know, and like you can be with a woman, she can clean the house for the first two, three weeks, and then she start leaving her, <laughs> her panties over here, she start leaving clothes over then, you know, you find out that, you know, she don't even take care of her house. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, she's trying to impress you. Or a woman can give you sex and tell about how good you is every day, all day. And then, you know what I'm saying, all of a sudden, you know, months later, he's like, baby, come on. And you got to, you know, you got to go cheat on her because she ain't giving you what you got coming. So I think that in most relationships, and particularly square relationships, I think a lot of times, you know, these women, you know what I'm saying, they either outgrow these men or these men outgrow the women. And I think they become strange. But the resentment is what I don't understand. Oh, the resentment is... is you know, a motherfucker playing the slot machine, right? You playing the slot machine, you put $500 in there, Goldie said, hey, Ken, let me have that machine. I'm like, hell no, because I'm trying to hit the jackpot. So when they don't hit the jackpot and they didn't put all that money in the slot machine, they feel bad. Every time you play the slots or you play the blackjack and you don't win, you walk away mad as a mother. Like, damn, these motherfuckers got my money. Yeah. You know? The, the resentment is her regret mixed with her lack of uh, accountability. She's trying to throw on you the fact that she wasted her time with you and she understand what she wasted, even though it wasn't your fault, because she could have walked away at any time. So it's really just she's regretful yeah. and, she, and she, she's not taking accountability, so she's putting it on you. Yeah. And she understands she still has those emotional ties to you. So she said, guess what? I'm going to f*** his day up with right. this text. Yeah. So you know what? I was saying to myself, I was saying to myself, and I told her this, I texted her, I'm like, you, you just coping with me not being there no more. Because I literally look at it as cope. I'm like, you, you coping with my absence. Yeah. You know what he said, right? What well, now? He said, don't love you. She was just used to you. Hey, but that situation is exactly why it's dangerous to lie to a woman. Because had you been lying to her, doing some fraud stuff, that's the reason. She hated that, me forever. That, that's the reason yeah. that have her go to the police. Because yeah. you wasn't keeping it real. Yeah. You know? And they always going to have that resentment. But in the back of their mind, if you, at least you was 100, it, she that's can't go to the police. That's why you don't see nothing online. You don't see it. And she know I'm popping. Exactly. She just holding that hurt. you been lying about any one little thing. She would have came. That's why I say I, I encourage you men to keep it 100. Keep it 100, yeah. And you know what's another thing is, I think, is interesting that that and i'll take it off her so she don't feel a way that women do sometimes is is that like after the relationship is over they kind of put more value on themselves than like you said i don't really necessarily share that experience the same way that you shared it like you thought i cleaned i did this i did that it's like whoa she baby i got clean of money yeah. i got made money Mm -hmm. Man, I tell a woman like this all the time, okay, what you bring to the table? Yo, pussy, you clean and you cook. Guess what? First, the pussy is available anywhere, too. Cooking and cleaning, that's $200 a week. If that's all you bring to the table, then you worthless, Come baby. Come on, baby. You worthless. Come on, you baby. You know, and that's why I say, man, you dudes got to start requiring more from these women. That old shit, cooking and cleaning, that's nothing. Yeah, you, got to come, you got to come with more than that. But yeah. most of these women don't got more than that. Exactly. Which make me bigger than a woman because you can only offer these uh, minimum wage tasks. And I'm all of this and offer all of this. Ooh, so who's the difference? Minimum wage. I, 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 man, yeah. my, I cover two hundred dollars a week. Yeah. I mean, press two hundred dollars a week. So how could you value that? That what you doing right there, cooking and cleaning, is worth four hundred dollars a week. Come on, now, mm. how valuable is that really? And so you, you think that's wifey? Yeah, come on, get out of here. Is with that, that wifey that material? <laughs> Who talked that man? That's bad game talked down, to pass down by man, the that's social programming. That's yeah. what love, but these falling for it. You know, doing all of this, everything that you bring to the table for some four hundred dollars a week minimum wage task. Ain't, Ain't that, that some piece. shit? Then the girl gonna text you like, I used to do this and I used to do I'll send that bitch to uh, Task Rabbit. You know how much that shit cost? Man, Let please. me see how much that shit cost. And you know I got that <laughs> pay damn, go of it. God damn, go. You got plenty of game. That's good <laughs> game right there because that's real. It's like. These are minimum ways to act. That's why I'm trying. That's the game that I'm giving to these men. Really open your eyes and see the bra for what she is. And most of the time, she's worthless. But guess what? When you see her for her actual work, then you can tell it come with some real value. So why do I get to class at? Man, you know, GoldieRatio.com, YoungGoldie underscore on Instagram. I'm going, I'm going to get it right after we leave this How do girls feel about you kicking that worthless shit? No, I'm not saying you're worthless. 
You just you're literally no, saying. No, 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 listen. I'm not saying you're worthless unless you're you not worthless. qualified. If you're worthless, then you're worthless. This is an objective fact. I just told you, if, if the only thing you bring to the table is a $400 a week task, then how worth, you're worth, okay, you're not worthless. You're worth $400 a week. How about that? If they like me to say it like that, you ain't worthless, baby. You're worth $400 a week. You feel me? And if I really wanted some pussy, right, how much is that worth? I could go on any one of these websites right now for $300 and get some pussy, so we'll add $300. No, we'll, we'll say the top of the line, $1,000. So now we have $1,400 a week. That's what you worth. Now, when we put a number on it, ain't that much, is it? You feel what I'm saying? That's is it I'm quality saying. pussy on these sites? I, I, I mean, shit. Is it quality pussy from these bras out here? Of course. <laughs> At least she a professional. You it's know? quality pussy out here. Yeah, okay, well. You don't, I know you don't got no value on pussy. That's a funny, to me, that's a funny mantra to have. Like, you got to stand on that. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. You got to stand on me, pussy. Ain't got no let me, value, let me tell man. You that's why, hell. Let me tell, tell you why you can't get pussy. You better no be value. laced with game going through this game let like me, that. Let me tell you something, though. And I, I, I express this to all men should feel like this. Because you elevate pussy to this level. Right, so when you take a woman out to eat, you take her on a vacation, you buy her a gift. Guess what she want to give you in return? Pussy. Why? Because you did elevate it to have so much value. But if you take the pussy off the pedestal, put it in its proper perspective, now when you take her here, take her there, do this, she has to come with a reciprocal real value. But as long as you keep telling her, nah, pussy, I ain't putting it on. I ain't putting it on no pedestal. Pussy. Not me. Okay, okay. I'm not putting it on no but, pedestal. But you, I think it's interesting that you have to stand on this. You got to stand on this street of pussy ain't got no value. No, no, okay. Pussy has the same value to me as dick. Long gone are the days that a woman is going to use this reverse psychology and act like her having sex ain't getting the same benefit. Like she don't want to have sex. Like she didn't come when we was having sex too. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> right. It, it, it's nothing, boy. What's it like uh, in math? You got one number one. It crosses each other out. So that's nothing because you getting something in What return. do you plan on? What, what do you, Both of y'all can answer this. What do you plan on giving your wife if you ever get married? What do I plan on giving my wife? That you I haven't gave. Well, okay, if I ever get married or if whatever I call it marriage, man, I'll give my woman all of me, which is all of this wisdom, knowledge, experience, understanding. I'm going to teach her things about herself. I'm going to give her that objective uh, criticism. I'm going to help her where she's weak. I'm going to see her weak areas. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be that man she can lean on. I'm going to give her all of my, my mentality, you know, because that's what I feel like is the most valuable thing about me. What about you? Have you been married? Uh, I ain't been in the game in almost 24 years. I'm long gone out How the game. How you stay seasoned? Hold, hold, let, me, let, me, let me explain to you. I say I'm, I'm long out the game, but I'm a game master, right? So I'm going to say, you know, get married for pussy, get married for uh, love, then get married for business. You know, before we had marriage, a monogamous relationship, they call it you know, business, you know, what you and Charlemagne got, that's called a marriage. Yep. You know that, didn't business. you? Business. So that's what... Ma ma you talking about just the word well, hold, hold on, hold on, hold yeah, on. Yeah. I'm, just, I'm just breaking up. Marriage is the a definition. business. I would never pimp and be married. Okay. I would never be... I would never have a hoe and, 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 ha and have a, a wife. Yeah. That, that, that ain't how the game go. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Niggas out here playing it like that. Yeah, yeah, but, 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 right. but, but, now let me say, let me say this, though. You know what I'm saying? Traditionally, you know what I'm saying, me have came up to me and tried to give me money, you know what I'm saying, me and try to choose up, and I turn them down because I'm not gonna play with the game. You know what I'm saying, me. Everybody knows that I'm not gonna play with the game, but the yeah. knowledge that That's I have, point. the knowledge that I have, you know what I'm saying, me is priceless. You know what I'm saying, me. So I'm more married to the game than I am to a. B you understand what I'm saying? So I'm married to the game. So anytime I want to get some game from me. You know what I'm saying? Anytime you want to elevate, or anytime like go you want to sit down and talk with me, have counsel, I'm available. So hey, when I speak of love, it's pimping I'm speaking up. You understand what I'm saying? I love the game. I'm always available to the game. But if it, 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 if you got assets and you got things that you got to do and you got uh, and you old man now, you getting old. Like and, 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 it's time and, to lay down. And, 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 and you got the feds, and you got the yeah, yeah, of course that. So, but so, I'm so, saying, so when I made my decision, you know what I'm saying? My gave me millions. You know what I'm saying? We had daycare business, all kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? Me, I still he be with me. I go where the I want to go. Uh, 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 I do what I want to do. I'm not a square marriage. Let's say marriage is a business relationship. Yes, I have a business relationship with a young lady. You understand me? And, you know, and, and, and uh, I'm the boss. 
I'm the king. You know what I'm saying? Do you feel like Pimpin' Ken made enough money out the, out the, not the game, the streets, out of the music industry based on his influence? Hell yeah. So you got paid handsomely. Man, I've been, I've been eating for a long time. I've been eating for a long time. You can know? you put a number on that? Do you can you do you know like now I made over twenty. I made million. millions. I made I made, I, I made millions. I got my company right now. If you go and you Google my name, you go Google my name, you see my net worth. Google right now. Your net worth. Yeah. You know that net worth shit bullshit though. Not this one. My company is valued at a hundred million dollars. Do I have a hundred million dollars liquid? No. But I have my company is value at that. The, but the what I'm basing, what, game is the, the but, tax but see, game. But see, what I'm basing my assets. And you know we had everything in trust in LLCs. Hey, and look, shit. look, what I'm basing my asset on is that the companies that it I don't own. Even say, you bro. know what I'm saying? Oh, here you go, yeah. Is the companies that I own and the business that I created. You know, now ten years, five years ago, my net worth was three hundred thousand. You know what I'm saying? It has went up six, six million, they say. Is yeah, that but, right? But, but, but you got to, yeah, yeah. And it's some site. I don't even know what this is, oh, but I'm getting it, the benefit it, it, of the doubt. Well, well it's different six, ones. Six so, well, some say six million. used to be fours, but literally no, got fours out say, of their business. Some say six million, some say 16 million. But what I'm telling you, my company valuation is 100 million. You know what I'm saying? I, mean, I told Charlemagne when we said, I said, Charlemagne, I want you to become an equity partner. I want to do what, uh, 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 Vitamin water did for 50 cent. I told other people, I'm going to do what uh, vitamin water do for 50 cents. So I'm working with all these people. I got Langton Promoter, which is uh, Floyd Mayweather Business Partner. We're in negotiation to see if we can get Lord Floyd Mayweather. And then once we get that, you know what I'm saying? And we do all we do, you know what I'm saying? The 100 million is going to be a given. You know, it's depending on what you do. Let me I'm be, saying, based on the music. So if I got a million dollars, you know what my net worth is? What? 10 million. Because it's 10x. If Jay Z, they say Jay Z worth two point five billion, he's probably liquid two fifty. Yeah, but that's liquid. That's not assets too. Yeah, but I said money can be an asset. No, anytime they make evaluations of a company, like if, yeah, of a company. But I'm saying net worth. A lot yeah, of times, but the, but the company is it's a part, of, it's a part of it. Yeah, but yeah, it's so sometimes. Like, his record label, not his artist side of things, his publishing side of things, because they can't get access to those numbers. They only can get access to certain numbers to even come up with a, a net worth. Most times it's what you file with the state on your taxes and things like that. They usually pull that and say, if you know that tax game, you yeah, have that's that what system. I'm saying. It ain't, yeah, you're yeah. going to do that or you can go the other way and inflate it trying to play the bank game. You see what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. You can inflate the you can inflate the tax game, yeah, to be like, yo, I made ten million last year, let me get two million. I can easily and you really ain't you just washing the money or whatever it is you doing. But um when you hit when Charleston White says that you don't have no money now, what do you say to that? Yeah the man, it's Wallow267. You're now tuned into It's Up There Podcast, man, with my man Loom, man. Check him out.